Hello guys, it's Lucas here and what I have here today, it's the MPT220 uh, body camera that will allow you to record anywhere uh, with the resolution up to 1080p with the 30 frames per second. Uh, this type of the camera has the infrared up to 5 meters distance infrared and also would have a 16 gigabytes, uh, gigabytes on board internal memory and um, as well as you can you know just uh, insert an SD card up to 256 gigabytes. This camera also can connect via the Wi-Fi, local Wi-Fi, once whatever Wi-Fi you have on, on site uh, it will connect automatically. Uh, but also you can connect via the 4G or 3G network so you can have a SIM card connected to this type of the camera. Uh, the camera can be also connected to one of those um, docking stations behind me, like you see here, I can show you that later on. Um, on board of this uh, camera you have the Android um, operating system. Um, there's a multiple di different buttons on the side of it, like you see here, and there's some um, to start recording, uh, power up button here as well, as well as uh, you have the intercom button. So in the case if you have your um, MPT, your body cam connected to the DSS software, you can actually communicate with the in, uh, monitoring station. So you can have a two-way audio communication with the monitoring station. Uh, on the left hand side, there's an SOS button that will allow you to trigger the alarm. So when you, once you press this button, it will notify the monitoring station that there's something going on and they will get the pop-up message on the screen with the live view picture. Um, as well as you have the snapshots and start audio recording on the left hand side. Um, but usually you would like to actually start the recording so you can actually press the button that will start, start recording. recording. And then straight away, you know it is recording. Uh, if you like to stop recording, you can just stop press the button again. Video. Simple as that. If you like to talk to whoever is uh, in the monitoring station, you can just press and hold the button on the side. So now my body cam is talking to the monitoring station. So the monitoring station can hear me and uh, they can reply to me back, uh, just like with the walkie talkies. <laughs> so. <clears throat> It's a brilliant camera, um, brilliant body cam, really. Uh, I've done some few tests with it. And like I said, there's also GPS location um, on board of this unit. So you can have like a live view and GPS location of every single unit uh, that has been dispatched. So you can all see them live um, in the DSS software. So let me actually show you how the, they look like in the software. And I'm also gonna show you the uh, docking station so we see how easy it is to use the docking station uh, of course they can be just standalone with the software without the docking station but the docking station is a really nice feature to have uh, and piece of equipment for any backup storage if you need to back them up uh, locally on site so yeah let me actually show you these in the software right now all right all right guys, so we have our software. Uh, in the software, there's a few ways you can actually communicate with your um, body cam. Uh, one of them is obviously just via the monitoring center where you can actually drag and drop multiple different MPTs into the screen, um, into the split screen here and actually view the actual uh, image. Of course, you can start recording directly to your server, take a snapshots, uh, as well as you can see where the each MPT is. So you can just name them whatever you like, whatever user is using them. Um, but also you can actually see them in this um, bigger map option where you can actually see every single one of them. You can click into it. You can just uh, see the preview, see the actual live view of that camera. Again, you can start recording directly to your server and um, to, your, to your software here. And as well as you can communicate with the user on the side. So imagine you have the security guard on site and they start talking to you um, or they press the SOS button alarm um, or just like to have a conversation with somebody. Like you see here, I have this group created here, mic test. You can have multiple different groups uh, with multiple different users. And the only thing you need to do is just go to the group and press and hold the F2 button. If you have the microphone connected to your PC, you will start talking to this um, MPT, this body cam, and 
whoever is using it can hear me back. Um, also, they can talk to me back while using and pressing the button on the right hand side corner. So if I press and hold that button, I can actually, I can actually talk, talk to the monitoring station back and they can hear me. So it's like a walkie talkie. Okay, so um, the other option we have here, um, how to do the playback, how to you know download the video. The video will be downloaded automatically to your server once it's connected via the Wi-Fi. Uh, you just need to schedule that in the software. But once we have that scheduled, of course, we can uh, view all the videos remote, uh, remotely via the client software or the app on the phone. Um, so once we have that and back it out to my server, that's now I can do also the live view, uh, but the playback as well from the server. And you can see you can do the MPT track as well. As I can see in the past where um, uh, uh, MPT was located. You can download it to your PC, back it up, this footage. You can create a case. Uh, you can actually uh, create that case and save it for a future reference in a case if you're ever going to need it in later stage as an evidence, if you like. Um, so it's really useful piece of the software to get it working with um, the NPT solution. Okay, so now let me show the actual um, docking station behind me. So you see the docking station and has this screen and on that screen actually I can have multiple different lockers uh, like you see here. These lockers can be opened via the face or admin password or the user password, the enforcer password, the security guard password. Okay guys so I'm just gonna connect that um, uh, body cam to my docking station. Uh, so just gonna open up the locker. The locker is open and the side I have my USB USB um, cable and just gonna connect that cable and just plug it up and close it. Automatically my uh, station will communicate with the body cam. I don't have to do anything from now on. It will all communicate and download the video automatically from my uh, body cam. Um, if I like to view any video, I can of course go through the file, just log it into the unit. And I have all my files listed uh, over here, so I just need to double click the video in question, do the playback, just do whatever you need to do with it. Um, of course, you can also download the video to your USB stick uh, on the side of, a, of the unit. There are two ports, but also you can actually log it in via the web browser and download everything via the web by just logging in to the IP address of that docking station. Um, <clears throat> if you like to open up the locker back again and get that unit out, just click the unlock button. There you go. It's unlocked. And just because I'm logged in as a as an admin right now, it, it didn't ask me for um, the password or to show the face. But you can as well open up open this app with the face. All right, guys. So that was the MPT solution. So thank you very much, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.